Hey everyone, welcome back to Lovely Lavender Wishes. It's Renee and I went to my mailbox and I got the new Your Creative Studio box. And um, Amanda sent out uh, an email a while back. Um, we were Everyone was wondering where their December box was because I think the last video I uploaded was for the November box. Well, apparently, I mean, she is um, struggling with getting shipping out just like everybody else with COVID and all the restrictions and the supply chain issues and everything else. I mean, it, I, it, I can't even imagine what she's going through trying to get everything out um, on time and, you know, in an efficient manner and all that. So she sent out an email saying that they were having some issues with shipping with, um, uh, you know, all the COVID restrictions and everything else, like I said. Um, and so what ended up happening is a lot of people didn't get their December box and um, so this box came a little late for December, but she also said that she, um, they were having issues on getting the supplies they needed for the December box. So what they were going to do to try to get the shipping out quick for everybody as fast as possible was to ship out the February boxes. And so that's why it says February here. Um, and then they're going to... Um, redo boxes for for future months apparently so yeah i mean i'm sure she's going through a headache and everything i'm just glad to get a box yay um so yeah they're doing their best to get boxes out to everybody in a in a diligent manner um with all new stuff so um let's open it up and see what we get for this month so this is for the december even though i think i since we're in january now everything's a little um off right now because of all the shipping and stuff but it's all good it's all good so it's your creative studio it's a monthly subscription box um with a bunch of really cool goodies she always sends and every month there's a theme and this month i'm assuming look at it's probably butterflies see and it says happiness is a butterfly which when pursued is always just beyond your grasp but which if you will sit down quietly may alight upon you that's Nathaniel Hawthorne. I remember that quote. I love that quote. Sometimes we got to just sit still, you know, and things will, will work out. So it says, thank you for so much for your purchase. I hope you enjoy your our February collection. So remember, like I said, they sent out the February box because I think they had those all shipped and ready or all ready um, with the supplies in them. And they were able to get those out faster for people um, so we can get a box um, so things wouldn't just be stalled. So let's open it up and see. <gasps> Ooh, yes, y'all, look at it dream butterflies so these are um looks like clear sticker washi tape stickers all these little butterflies yes look at these oh yes they're gonna be gorgeous so they're stickers they're kind of vellum and you get a whole bunch in here all different kinds oh come on open this so you get all these different variety of butterflies can y'all see that I'll definitely be using those, especially my Bible journaling, for sure. And then, fly to you, you're so special to me. Oh, I love that. Oh, uh, this is a, a little bookmark. Fly to you. Or like a little, um, either a bookmark or uh, you can use it as like a little um, tag, tab, tag in your journaling. You know, you can use things that for you know you can use things that are supposed to be meant to be used for something else and you can use it in whatever way you like here's a clean stamp looks like the butterfly right here oh look at that look how gorgeous that is the intricate details on that i love her stamps they're always like so detailed beautiful oh yeah we'll definitely have to do a page for these with these so this is vintage labels. Let's see what they look like. And y'all, my nails are just atrocious. <laughs> I've been painting a room in the house. Um, we've got so many projects going on right now. Goodness. Okay, so vintage labels, original stickers. Oh, here. So there are a bunch of label stickers. You get a variety of different kinds. Little specimen kind of type stickers. All different sizes, different kinds, different colors. These are great to put in um, and do your date stamp in your Bibles or um, 
I mean, for anything. These are great for all your junk journaling. So yeah, I'll use a lot of those for my date stamps and stuff in my Bible or adding some scripture or something. And one of these days, I will get back to junk journaling. It's just my schedule right now. And I know I say that in every video. I'm so sorry, y'all. I know people have been waiting, and I'm just, I'm trying. I'm trying, but I am in a phase of life right now where it's just chaos. Okay, these are, oh, okay, these are those little stickers. I love these. They come in a box, and the box looks really tiny, but look at that, y'all. Look at how much you get in there. You get all of these I mean, there's so many, and there's even more in there. I'm not going to take them all out. But you get all these stickers. And um, that was a little crunchy. That's okay. Um, all these different stickers, you just take the backing off, and then they're stickers, and they're white. So you can either keep – some people like to keep the um, border around them, or they'll cut them out, you know, with a fussy cut. You can fussy cut them out if you don't like that border. Or you can ink up the border. I sometimes like to ink this up. Um, and it makes them pop from the page, but you can do any, you know, use it however you want. But look at that. Look at how many of those you get. And like I said, there's still some more in here. You get a variety in this little teeny tiny box. You get quite a few. Make sure they're all in there. Okay. Um, here's another cling stamp. It looks like two little butterflies here. And I love these little bags she uses too. These you can use in junk journals. These little, um, uh, they're like um, hard card stock. And um, I love the fact that they're just plain and you can decorate these up. You can, you know, fancy these up and embellish them in a whole variety of different ways and put them in your junk journals as well or even your Bible journals. These would be great to put in your Bible journals, um, Bible journaling, like on the side. And then you can put your scripture cards or prayers or anything you want in here, um, your notes, whatever. I always love adding um, extra things to um, my journaling, when, especially when I have like a lot of notes. I don't want to add it all to the page, so I'll put these little pockets in or something, and I can put all my notes in here, and then I can add more, to take some out or whatever. Um, you know, it's a great way to add extra space on your journaling and, and you know, junk journaling, everything. So here are the little butterflies. You get a big one and a small one. And then again, look at how intricate the designs are. So cute. And all you do is peel off. Wow, this one came off real easy. You just peel this part off, this little really thin layer of vellum or acetate off the top. And then you can stick that to your... Um, uh, what is it? You're like acrylic block. Or you can use them with your hands. I do that too. Okay, here's sticky notes. So this is just a pile. Um, you can see how many are in there um, of sticky notes. You just peel them off. These are fun too. Look at this. I love this. So you get a whole set of these and you just peel them off. So there's that. Wow, it just keeps going, just keeps going. Oh, look at this. Uh, loft book collection series. So let's see what this is. And these are great to keep too. And you can embellish these up and I'll put these in journals too. I love all, all of her packaging. I use all the packaging and everything too. So. Um, so this is academic chart, it says. And it looks like, yeah, it looks like they're individual sheets. But y'all, look at this. Look how many you get. So it looks like it's like old textbook, you know, like old college books or textbook type pages. And you get a variety of um, different styles, different page, you know, different patterns. That, that reminds me of math class, y'all. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Statistics or math class. So you get a whole set of those. So cool. Wow, y'all, just keeps going. Look at this. Um, so this is Paper Ephemera. Oh, look how gorgeous these are. I love this box. Butterflies are like some of my favorite. Look at this. Look at all this. And then you can even use, again, the background and all the packaging. Look at these, y'all. This is um, hard cut, like 
cardstock. Let me see if, nope, they're not stickers as far as I can tell, but y'all know I always have problems with that. Nope, it doesn't look like they're stickers. So they're, they're hard cardstock. So this, these are would be great. You can put holes in these and put ribbons, make these into tags and stuff because they're like that heavy duty. So look at, look at all these. You get two, no, three of each style. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, look at these. Oh. Okay, I am definitely going to have to figure out what to do with all these. I mean, you will see these popping up in a lot of my, my journaling, for sure. Look at them all. So beautiful. Love the colors, too. I love this more subdued colors. That's more my style versus, like, real bright reds and yellows and pinks and stuff. I mean, sometimes I like journaling in really bright colors but overall I like the more subdued like the antique feel or the vintagey feel oh y'all look at these so this is a set of let me see like these little like faux stamps okay, let me shake some of these out and then again look you get like a little postcard in there again the packaging you can use the packaging these are, yes, these are stickers, and I know for a fact they are because, yeah, I've seen these before. So these are stickers. They're like little faux stamps with a variety of different um, patterns again on them. You get a, like two, it looks like two of each um, style, each pattern. Two or three, I think two, maybe three. Let's see. Hmm. Looks like two of each pattern. But all different kinds. Look at that, y'all. I mean, you can, one box alone can, you can be journaling and using so much of this. There's so much comes in one box. And you can use them over and over and over again. Okay, so here's more paper ephemera with stickers on the back. So here's some stickers for your creative studio butterfly stickers. These are like really, you can almost see through them. So they're vellum stickers, love that. And then you get these. And again, another big paper, like cardboard you can use. And these are, it looks like cardstock, but again, let me make sure. Yep, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they don't look like they're stickers. So, but if you can hear that, it's a heavier cardstock, and it looks like you get like four of each pattern. Look at how gorgeous these are, y'all. Oh my gosh. Again, I love these colors. I mean, you got the pinks and purples in there, but they're more subdued. I love it. It gives you more of that vintagey feel, that antique feel. Oh gosh, y'all, love these. I am, I am dying in love with this box. I love this box this this month. I mean, I love all the boxes, but sometimes some of the boxes just speak to me even more. Okay, and here is um, some handmade paper. You know, with like the little fibers and such in them. Let's see how many we get. So it's okay that the box came a little later this month. And I totally understand. I mean, gosh, I can't even imagine trying to run a business. I tried to mail out a couple of my um, junk journals that people have bought. And I still can't get it to them because um, of the shipping issues right now with COVID and everything else. So yeah, y'all look. This is If you can see through the window, it's really thin paper. This is almost like tissue paper, almost. This is like part of the thinnest some of the thinnest like handmade paper I've seen or paper with you know fibers and such in it that I've seen um so you get it looks like four or five pages five there's three pages here so you get five pages total I can't get it y'all there we go five pages total of this really thin tissue paper so you this is great you can tear it for collaging and, and what have you all of this is great for collaging um yeah i'm gonna have to really think it think up a page for this this stuff i might just have to do just a butterfly journal Ooh, a butterfly 
junk journal for the spring. Ooh, I'm going to write that down, y'all, because I might do that. <laughs> Hopefully, if I can get to a junk journal by, you know, for the spring. Um, there's so many I've wanted to do. I still wanted to do my autumn one, and I never got to that one. Well, next autumn. Next autumn. Thank God that, you know... I mean, hopefully we make it to next autumn. <laughs> so there's our there's our box. So you get all of this, y'all. Look at all this stuff. All these. Um, I'm gonna keep that out. All of these things. You get the stamps, bookmark. I love these. All of that in that box. Wow, I am in love with this box, y'all. So again, if you're interested, it's your creative studio. I make no money off this. Um, I'm not like, you know, one of her representatives or anything. I just love Amanda's boxes. And um, I love using the stuff that she sends. And I've never, ever, I honestly, y'all, I'm not just saying this. I have never been disappointed in a box. I mean, it's my style. So again, I'm hoping this helps some of you who maybe are trying to make the decision of like maybe what kind of subscription box you want. I did my research when I was first, because I always wanted a subscription box, but you know, I only have money to purchase one a month. And so I had to narrow it down. And so these YouTube videos were very um, um, helpful to me to try to figure out which ones I, you know, were more my style because there are so many subscription boxes out there. And so I'm hoping that these videos help those of you who are maybe trying to decide, you know, you know, maybe this isn't your style and that's totally okay. There's so many other subscription boxes out there. So if this isn't your style, go check out um, some other YouTube videos on other subscription boxes that may be more um, your, your style or your, your taste. Um, but these for me are, are perfect and I just I have literally never been disappointed in Amanda's boxes so there you can rent um, not rent them you can buy a box monthly uh, or up to I think three or four months at a time and again right now if you're waiting for a box just know that she said um, that they are a little behind right now because of all the shipping and um, production um, issues but you'll get them and she's working her hardest to get them out as fast as possible. So just be patient y'all and it'll come. And when they do come, you will love them. <laughs> so anyways, I hope y'all have a very blessed day. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye y'all.